Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here with Joseph Coker, first time on my YouTube channel. Hey, Thank you. Right? You've been coming in, doing a lot of judo. Yep. And this video is something that you did in practice that I was like, wow, this is very high IQ judo. Right? So that's what I wanted to show you. Is that okay? You Please. Remember which sequence it was? It, it was it was accidental. I'm sure it was. No, it was wonderful. Alright, right versus left, inside position versus outside position. The goal a lot of the times is create a frame first, okay? Joe has this frame, which means I can't throw my hips across. Okay, now let's look at a position where the inside person has the frame. Look, I have the frame. Right now he can't break through this arm so easily. Once you have the frame, once you fight for the sleeve, it's a lot easier to push and pull because the position of my arms make it much more powerful to be able to do this, okay? If Joe has this frame in, right, he has this very strong position and he pulls. Now look at the position of my hand here. It makes it very difficult for me to fight this hand back, okay? Because before I was pushing and pulling here, now I'm trying to push and pull here. Okay, this is not very strong, right? So that's sort of the way you gain advantage, right side versus left side. Outside position, Joe has this frame inside, the elbow in. He's turning the person sleep. Okay, I'm Joe in this example. As opposed to physically trying to pull this arm back and push and then try to wiggle this hand in, do this. Joe did something very incredible, right? Instead of going across, he went to side first and then released and then went into this dominant position here. Okay, so it's good from all the angles. Elbow frame, shoulder turn, I'm in trouble. Okay, if he moves this arm across and then goes any turn throw here, he can technically take me down because he's in great position. Okay, while I'm being shut out. So I'm fully defensive, he's fully offensive. So, from this position, Joe went to side, and then use that opportunity to release his hand. Now I'm in great position. I can go across, Ochi, go on a soto. All my major attacks are going to be there for me because I'm positionally advantageous. Okay? So that's what I call high intelligence judo. That's like high IQ judo. And that's not the only thing, right? So a lot of the times when the person's, right, maybe you don't have the sleeve, right? Maybe I just punch his hand and adjust his way and then look for the sleeve, right? Maybe he has the sleeve already and if he has my shoulder back, I go side and then I adjust, right? So now I have the inside position. I can turn for tile, right? There's many, many ways you can do this, right? Fake Ochi, right? That's something that I like to do, right? Dominant position, attacking this way, come back out, now I can attack, right? Lots of different methods to do it. You don't want to stick to one. There's so many different ways you can explore, but that was a very good example of high intelligence judo. I'm going to just share this with, that, with the world. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to put this on my tombstone. This is great. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. So,